I am Hima Bindu, lecturer in English, working in Sarsia Reddy College for Women, Eluru. I am dealing with the fourth semester Communication Skills and Soft Skills Paper 3, common for all UG programs, Unit 2, Paragraph Writing. What is a paragraph? A paragraph is a piece of writing that consists of a series of sentences. What is a sentence? A sentence is a group of words which are arranged in a meaningful order. If we arrange the words in a meaningful order, we call it as a sentence. Words. How can we frame words? With the help of syllables, we form words. We put different syllables together and frame words. Here, what you need to understand is with the help of syllables, we are able to frame words and we are arranging those words in a meaningful order and we are able to form sentences. And those sentences, if we arrange those sentences in an order, we call it as a paragraph. A paragraph should always have complete, correct and concise sentences which are all related to a single topic. As well, it should be easy to read and well organized. A paragraph itself should focus on one subject, theme or central idea. It may be a part or a division of an essay or it may be a complete unit in itself. Sometimes we call this paragraph as a mini essay. First, we need to understand the difference between a paragraph and an essay. The essay discusses different aspects of a topic whereas a paragraph focuses only on a single aspect. That's why we call this paragraph as a mini essay. Essentials or features of a good paragraph. In order to write a good and effective paragraph, we have to follow certain order because a paragraph is not just a collection of sentences. Each sentence in a paragraph is connected to each other both structurally and semantically. Here see the list. Topic sentence, order, unity, coherence, cohesion and style. Let us discuss each one. The first one is topic sentence. Every paragraph has one single controlling idea that is expressed in its topic sentence. It tells the reader what the entire paragraph is about. This is usually found in the beginning of a paragraph. By looking at the topic sentence which is at the beginning of a paragraph, the reader had some kind of expectations about the paragraph. So, the writer has to satisfy the expectations of the reader by giving relevant and specific or convincing information regarding the topic sentence. The next one is order. Order refers to the way you organize your supporting sentences. You may choose chronological order, order of importance or any other logical presentation. A solid paragraph always has specific details, examples and facts to support the topic sentence. And this order helps the reader to grasp the message and to avoid confusion. Look at the example here. Trees are useful to us. They clean the air around us. On a hot day, they give us shade. We can use their wood to build our homes. Trees also help to keep the environment fresh. They provide us oxygen. By looking at the first sentence, which we call it as a topic sentence, trees are useful to us. That is the topic sentence of this particular paragraph. And by looking at that topic sentence, we can frame an idea in our mind that the whole paragraph is talking about how the trees are useful to us. The reader is expecting some kind of answer basing on the topic sentence. This topic sentence which is at the beginning of a paragraph and remaining all the sentences 
are supporting sentences to the topic sentence they support the topic sentence the next one is unity sentences of a paragraph are held together because of their close relation if the sentences do not relate to the central idea its unity is destroyed look at the example i have finished reading sons and lovers by th lawrence but my friends have not stopped playing football yet therefore we wish to go on a picnic and it is a good idea to rest a while after journey however i am taking my final examinations this year here in this paragraph you may observe a group of grammatically correct sentences but it does not give any sense because they are arranged one after the other in a linear manner but are not related in any way with one another in its meaning the paragraph is entirely meaningless but each and individual sentence is grammatically correct the next one is coherence the sentences should be connected through semantic the best way to achieve coherence is to use cohesive devices first we need to understand what is meant by semantic the mean that means that they should be related in terms of their meaning the best way to achieve coherence is to use cohesive devices cohesion the sentences in a paragraph are linked structurally by cohesive devices the cohesive devices make the paragraph economic stable and clear here is a list of cohesive devices or transmission words to show addition in order to add extra information in a paragraph we use the words like again and also besides moreover to give examples we use the words for example for instance in fact to illustrate if you want to compare two things in a paragraph you use also likewise similarly to contrast we use the words like although yet at the same time but and to show the time we use the words after as long as soon after before to indicate a relationship we use the words accordingly because as a result consequently otherwise all these words are known as cohesive devices or we can also call it as transmission words in order to uh, connect one sentence with the another we use these words the next one is style style depends on two important considerations the first one is audience and the next one is purpose look at both the paragraphs here the first one is on noticing the unfamiliar person clothed in gorgeous real robes the learned man of the rustic academy rose up as prompted by reverence and fight yet his demeanor betrayed by sense of amazement rather than timorousness seeing the stranger in a beautiful kindly dress the village schoolmaster stood up as if forced by respect and fear but this behavior showed a feeling of wonder rather than timidity if you observe both the paragraphs here the meaning is same but the style is different here the stylistic choice is just made by the writer because of two things one is based on the audience and the second one is based on the purpose if the writer is uh, going to explain to the audience who are well, uh, very well versed with a high flown vocabulary they can easily understand the first paragraph if the audience or if the readers are just uh, uh, know only simple vocabulary and they do not understand the high literary style 
they can easily understand the secondary paragraph because here the style is very straightforward and any ordinary reader who knows a simple english can easily understand the second paragraph even though in meaning wise the both the paragraph are same but here the style is different while the writer is writing he has to keep two things in his mind that the first one whom the uh, who, what kind of audience he is going to face basing on that and the second one is purpose on what purpose he gathered there or on what occasion he was writing this paragraph basing on these two things the writer has to write he has to choose his style of writing the next topic is types of a paragraph there are four different kinds of paragraphs the first one is the descriptive paragraph it describes something or someone the expository paragraph it explains something and it's give information or instruction the narrative paragraph it is used to tell stories or sequence of events the last one is the persuasive paragraph to share opinions and to convince the reader this type of paragraphs are used let us discuss in detail about each of the paragraph the first one is descriptive paragraph this type of paragraph describes something and shows the reader what a thing or a person is like the words chosen in the description appeal to the five senses of touch smell sight sound and taste we generally use this type of paragraph in story writing we also use adjectives while we are describing a thing or a person let us see the example my mother's kitchen is not very big but it is warm and comfortable on the left side there is a nice small fridge with some family pictures placed on its door to the right there is a small round table with four wooden chairs in the left corner of the kitchen stands the food cabinet which has my mother's favorite spices and utensils sometimes my brother and i sat on the chairs around the table watching my mother cooking we liked new things working together and making delicious food in this paragraph we are describing how the mother's kitchen is what was placed in the what were placed in the kitchen where was the dining table and where they sat everything was described in detail so we are describing a room here so we call it as a descriptive paragraph the second one is expository paragraph you can write a paragraph giving the details of information in support of the topic sentence this type of paragraph often requires research but it's possible that the writer is able to rely on his or her own knowledge and experience this type of paragraphs will help uh, to inform and to educate the reader and we can explain something with the help of facts and figures also let us see the example stress is defined as a state of extreme difficulty that causes mental or physical tension in recent studies teenagers were shown to experience stress as often as adults according to the study the most common causes of stressors to teens include divorce of parents death of loved one loneliness moving to a new neighborhood and having difficulty in school environment in this particular paragraph we can understand that a research has been done and found some reasons for the stress it is same in teenagers as well as in adults the reasons were found so we can easily understand that a research has been done on that particular topic called stress the third type of paragraph is narrative paragraph the narrative paragraph is written to relate an experience or narrate an incident 
the sentences should be carefully arranged in a logical sequence to guide the reader to understand the incident properly if we want to explain any incident we need to explain one after the other the first thing at first and last thing at last if you or tell the last what had happened in the first and first thing at last the reader may not understand what you are going to say that's why we have to follow certain logical order sequential order one after the other let us look at the example yesterday evening i got home from work at 6 o'clock my wife had prepared food which we ate immediately after she had cleaned up the kitchen we watched tv for about an hour then we got ready to go out with some friends our friends arrived at about 9 o'clock and we chatted for a while later we decided to visit a jazz club and listen to some music we really enjoyed ourselves and stayed late here if you observe the time one after the other at 6 o'clock what had happened after going home what you did there after 9 o'clock what you have done everything was told in a logical order and a sequential order so the reader is able to understand properly what you are going to say if you observe the words which are underlined after then later these words are called connectives connective words and it helps to connect one sentence with the other in a proper way the last type of paragraph is persuasive paragraph this type of paragraph tries to get the reader to accept a particular point of view to und or understand the writer's opinion here the writer wants the reader to accept with his opinion look at the example my older brother got jumped by bank gang members one day while he was walking home from the bus stop he was hospitalized for a week due to his injuries the reason he was wearing a red shirt as part of his school uniform in an area that is controlled by a gang that wears blue my brother knew this but the school officials didn't if my brother had been granted the simple freedom to choose his own clothes it would have saved him a lot of pain and suffering here the writer is telling the reason for the injuries of his brother he is telling that his point of view that his brother would would have been saved if the school gives them freedom to choose to wear their own clothes and here he makes the readers also to convince with his point of view general rules to write an effective paragraph here is a list of rules which helps to write an effective paragraph the first one think of the topic if you want to compose a paragraph you have to think carefully about the fa the topic sentence and collect some facts regarding the topic sentence place the topic sentence as at first you have to place the topic sentence at first and all the remaining sentences should support the topic sentence put down 5 to 10 ideas in mind when you think about the particular topic whatever idea comes to your mind keep it on a paper the ideas keep the ideas on a paper and later you can check whether the ideas are relevant to the topic or not put down 10 to 5 ideas at first keep the topic audience purpose in mind because basing on the audience and purpose you have to choose your style that's why keep the topic and audience whom you are facing what kind of style you have to use arrange the points in order each and every point which comes to your mind you have to arrange all the points in an order chronological or sequential order use connectives if you want to connect one sentence with the other in a proper way you have to use 
connective words expand your points when an idea comes to your mind you have to develop that idea you have to expand that idea and write full length grammatically correct sentences use variety in sentence length basing on the style you use you can use a uh, a simple sentence or a compound sentence or a complex sentence whatever kind of sentence you want to use you can use it and you have to be very very careful about the length of a sentence paragraph must deal with the same theme you should not deviate from the theme every paragraph have to deal with the same theme or same topic i think you have all understood the topic and here are some possible questions you can prepare answers for these questions what is the importance of topic sentence we have discussed in this particular video all these three questions we have discussed and go through the video once again if you want to know the exact answers what are the elements that are essential to effective paragraph writing explain we have discussed about the six types of uh, essentials or features to write a good paragraph write about the different types of paragraphs in detail we have discussed four kinds of paragraphs descriptive paragraph expository paragraph narrative paragraph and persuasive paragraph thank you very much